As nerves exit the spinal cord and enter the arm, they form what's called the brachial plexus. This collection of nerves powers the entire arm and hand, so it provides all of the motor function to the arm and hand, and all the capabilities of the arm and hand are powered by the brachial plexus. Damage to these nerves needs to be cared for in a timely manner to avoid problems. If too much time has passed, then the options become more limited for recovery and reconstruction. The most common surgical options are nerve reconstruction, nerve repair, nerve grafting, and nerve transfers. We treat brachial plexus injuries are primarily through the use of what's called a nerve transfer. And a nerve transfer can be thought of as rewiring the injured nerves with good nerves that are nearby and functioning, but also expendable. Post-operative rehabilitation or physical therapy are crucial to healing. That includes what I like to think of as rewiring the brain and training the brain for the new function. Essentially training one nerve to perform so the function of row, another right? nerve. For the Mayo Clinic so News Network, I'm Joel Street.